Season 2 world champion Curtis Toys Lau sentenced to four years and two months in prison for drug trafficking in Taiwan. What on earth? Yahoo News. TLDR. Uh, uh, we assume accept all. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, man. Okay. TLDR, he sold weed. Weed is illegal in Taiwan and most Asian countries. Sentenced to four years in prison. Rough translation. Former League of Legends pro player Curtis Toys Lau was prosecuted in Taiwan last year for allegedly selling marijuana. He pleaded guilty during the trial. The defense, the defense lawyer claimed that the client was from Hong Kong and was not familiar with Taiwan's laws and hopes that the court will give a lighter sentence. The case was pronounced in the first instance on the morning of Thursday, 24th, and Lao did not appear in court. Ooh. The Taichung District Court ruled that he was convicted of six crimes and sentenced to four years and two months in prison. Last summer, the police... The police seized a drug case and found that 29-year-old Curtis Lau was suspected of selling marijuana on the internet. In September of the same year, the police arrested Lau and seized more than 200 marijuana cigarettes in various places. In various places? What does that mean, various places? Uh, thank you very much for your subscription, Mr. Melon Lord. Uh, sorry for missing it before. We're listening to uh, RuneScape music and my mind is completely twisted. During the detention period, the Taishung District Court believed that Lao had handed over the drugs and pleaded guilty and ruled that he should be released on bail at NT 1.5 million, approximately USD 50,000. Later, the Taichung District Prosecutor's Office detected a second level drug reaction in Lao's hair and after applying for observation and rehabilitation, Lao entered the Taichung Rehabilitation Center and was released in January this year. After the conclusion of the, in of the investigation, the prosecution prosecuted Lao on four counts of completed second-degree drug trafficking and two attempted drug trafficking crimes, and prosecuted the remaining seven people involved in assisting Lao in drug trafficking for drug crimes. Oh, shit. Wait, so so did he do things... Did he do it twice? Last summer, the police seized a drug case and found, okay, selling marijuana on the internet. During the detention period, the Taichung I believe that handed over the drugs to the and ruled... Okay, okay. So the, the basically, the, it was the same uh, instance, but the... But the processing of the case took a full year. Oh man, four years in prison. That is crazy. For reference, here are some Asian countries with this highest sentencing for selling, possess possessing weed. Marijuana is class 2 drug and you could be sentenced to 10 years in prison. Uh, possession, possession of over 150 kilo of marijuana is a death sentence. Singapore, sentence for life or death sentence? Sentence for life or death sentence? Philippines, Malaysia, South Korea, sentence for life. Hong Kong, max three years in prison for possession and 15 years for trafficking. So how can this lawyer not think of a better defense? They practically have the same laws in Hong Kong. Oh, in Hong Kong it's only three years. We didn't know that in... Taiwan, it's 10 years. <laughs> that is... That is a terrible defense. My goodness. Max 5 years in prison for possession and 10 years for trafficking. Wow, that's crazy. That is mental. It's just personal use, bro. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's funny. You know, some, some comments are gems, I'm not gonna lie. It's just for personal use, bro. <laughs> uh, I've had friends that use that defense.